I thought we'd take a quick second just to review what makes a good comment. So, so we've been going over some bad ones, right? And oftentimes that's half the battle. Knowing what not to do oftentimes leaves you with knowing what to do. If you've done all the mistakes, all you have left are the correct solutions, right? So what makes a good comment? Something that's short and concise. Something that gets to the point. Doesn't really have all this fluff in there that's going to you know, cause more confusion than anything else. Something that provides value. You know, does it really give you something at the end of the day, or is it just describing what's going on that you can read in, you know, 20 seconds? It oftentimes clarifies code that has a business purpose, but will look sort of out of sort. And oftentimes in that same scope, it will be a warning or amplification of its importance and, of course, legal comments. So let's take a look at the code now that we reviewed that. You can see at the top here, we have one such legal comment. I've had to do these in a couple applications. They're not as common as they were in the past that pretty much everyone just uses open source library X, Y, and Z. But you can see here, this uses RS library 1.x.x, .x, and Scrimba assumes all risks in doing so. This comment is mandated by the license to so use ROS library 2020. This is a legal comment. Sometimes you have to have that in there. It's just the way it is. Now, as far as our date regex goes, do you know what this does? I mean, I'm not the best at regex. I can usually figure it out, but I have no idea what this does. What this actually does, and this is a great example of something that's going to be short and concise, but provide value, is format a day, month, month, year, year. That's all this does at the end of the day is it concatenates, <laughs> it validates that this whole crazy regex comes in a couple different days, months, and years, like so. That's it. It kind of blows my mind, to be honest. But this is a good example of a comment for when, you know, there's just something that's going to take an extended period of time to really understand. Down below, here's an example of maybe something that looks a little weird. Like, why are we trimming the string before we do it? You might have a comment here. Someone might go, oh, well, that's silly. Maybe we store this in the database correctly. But maybe we have an issue where the UI layer is injecting empty characters. Do not remove trim. Now, another way you can eliminate this comment, and we're not going to talk about testing in here, but a good unit test would actually have this in the unit test to clarify that. Now, you may still remove trim and ignore this comment at some point in time if you think you've solved this, but this is very clear about something that maybe would catch your eye that you're like, not quite sure why that's there. So here's some examples of some good comments.